magic continues, a voyage in contrast with a winter canoe float. Winter canoeing has its own special beauty, challenges, and rewards. The guarantee of the next season, springtime, has a distinct set of expectations and rewards. On a warm, bright, pure fresh air day in the solace of a canoe, the promise of new life is truly an elation to one's heart and spirit. But first, this period between the crisp and cold days of winter and the warmer days of spring, the river dramatically changes with ice out. As the days lengthen, the energy of the sun grows stronger every day, slowly and some days very rapidly melting the snow and rivulets of snowmelt build into small creeks and add to the river. As the river level rises, so does the ice cover, resulting in breakup. Ice jams force the rushing, rising water to back up, seeking to escape the jumble. At unpredictable times, the entire river of broken ice starts to noisily make its way downstream. The strength of flowing water is in full power, forcing ice chunks of every conceivable size and shape downstream, bumping and grinding in unmistakable pandemonium. Streamside branches and logs are no match for ice out. Mangled saplings and bark scarred trees bear proof to the might and height of the crushing ice. It is simply mesmerizing to witness and quite distinctive as an impressive ice out does not happen every year. And then, like a new dawn, ice out is over, the water level is safe, and I return to the river as often as I possibly can. With bare hands, the feel of the paddle is similar to renewing an old friendship as the paddle works its destiny with the spirit of the flowing stream. The sensation of freely floating downstream quickly allows oneself to be held in Mother Nature's arms. An early morning canoe trip while the rest of the world is still resting is its own reward. The music of crescendo and decrescendo birdsong is in direct proportion to the amount of foreign noise the canoeist creates. Surprising aviary friends and other creatures is simply a bonus. Last summer's Baltimore Oriole nests are easy to spot in leafless trees, always within two or three feet of the end of a branch. The sock-like nests not only survived last summer's family of Orioles, but have also endured heavy snow, ice, and the strong winds of winter. The next generation of the orange and black beauties will continue the tradition, though in a different nest. Early migratory birds are welcomed with excitement. The pelicans, teal, buffleheads, mergansers, trumpeter swans, and more. The eagles are on their nests full time now, if they were prudent in the cold months. Feeding their eaglets is a full time responsibility, and soon that responsibility will be passed on to the next generation as the circle of life continues. While lingering in a river eddy, the soft and soothing coo of a pair of morning doves makes me wonder what they are talking about. Silver maple tree buds are bright red and swelled to nearly bursting. Lime green willow tree leaves are the first to appear and welcome another growing season, just as I welcome more frequent canoe trips. The 
great horned owlets are growing and getting restless. Good thing their parents will watch them for a few more weeks, feeding and protecting as needed. Soon, they will test their wings on a branch for a few days, then fly away, never to return to their birthplace. The quicker flow of the stream requires more attention from the canoeist, and unfortunately, due to the unbridled erosion of our topsoil, there will not be clear river water again until midwinter. Numerous forms of new life are abundant. Waterfowl such as Canada goose goslings, mallard ducks, and wood ducks stick together as families for several weeks, their plumage constantly changing. The fox kits are out of their den and wait patiently for the vixen to return from hunting, bringing a morning meal. Songbirds abound, but it takes silent canoeing, aviary knowledge, and a very sharp eye to understand and appreciate the sightings. Wildflowers such as white and purple phlox, columbine, bloodroot, and patches of ginger root are fickle, but enjoyable surprises all spring. With the right type of weather conditions, the scent of Virginia bluebells will stimulate one's olfactory sense to the point of salivation. The river calls me back again, again, and again. Fresh air of springtime lingers until the sultry heat of summer suppresses all, marking the end of a glorious season. Springtime is the hallmark of new beginnings, and all canoeists know that the end of every trip is just another place to start. <laughs>